I uh, really like the uh, intro of them uh, popping up like that. I think that's cool. And you notice they blink as well, which is uh, a nice touch. Anyway, welcome to the first episode of Sonic the Hedgehog 4, episode 2, even though it's the first episode. Yeah, you're going to get tired of hearing me say that. Never mind. Um, anyway, uh, the, if you get this from Steam, I don't know if you can get it from X, on Xbox 360 or anything like that. But if you get this from Steam, it allows you from the uh, your Steam library, if you just click on this game, to configure controls, which is a good idea because you can play this multiplayer. There are different controls for each player, including the up, down, left and right buttons. So, if you're doing it single player, then you'll be using the player one controls, and uh, it starts off assuming that you want W, A, S and D to be up, down, left and right, which I don't, because it's a stupid control scheme to use if you're doing it one player. If you're doing it one player, why not just use up, down, left and right for up, down, left and right? So you'll probably want to change that. Um, it also allows you to configure it the first time you play the game. It automatically does that. So, of course, this is me using a keyboard. It might be different if I had a controller plugged in. But I don't. My advice, though, is to leave the four wing controls like this. Now, for some reason, it's doing what the first uh, episode of Sonic Has Hog 4 did, which is instead of telling you which controls on the keyboard to use, it, ha it just has a red button, and a pale blue button, and a dark blue button, and a green button. So, uh, you need to know which uh, controls those actually are. So, red is K, power blue is P, dark blue is U, and uh, green is space. You'll see what I mean once you start uh, start playing this, if you're playing it along, along with me. Um, I'm sorry, I know I spent quite a while explaining the controls here, so let's just actually launch into it. Okay, I've unlocked that. I'm not quite sure how, but I have prayed a couple of levels ahead just to get used to the new controls because you are there is a lot of new stuff to learn. Um, even if you're playing multiplayer, you still need Tails' cooperation. So, if you're doing single player, you automatically play as Sonic, and you don't really have the choice to play as uh, Tails. But never mind. I have never seen this sequence before. What is he actually inside the monitor? I would have thought an image of him would be able to do that. Actually, Sonic CD is um, is something that I've never uh, that I haven't commented on yet. I haven't told you my opinion mostly because I didn't have much to say. That I forgot about it. But perhaps I'll be able to share that whilst I'm playing this. I don't know. Anyway, we won't be looking at that 
yet. And I'm not going to be flying that yet. I'm going to be flying the uh, first two so that you can see what they're like. As you can see, I've grabbed a gem, but you'll be able to watch me. Um, You'll be able to watch me get the second gem, hopefully, so don't worry about having missed out. And, okay, it's... I'm sorry about this, it has rather unfortunately skipped the intro. There's an intro where you see uh, Sonic and Tails flying on their plane. That's a tornado. And I'm sorry you couldn't get to see that, but it's, it looks nice, but you don't vitally need to know. Basically, they just ended up here, and that's all there is to say. These martyrs tell you what you have to do. Told you there's new stuff. going weirdly transparent. So, um, the computer just controls tails mostly, but if you jump and do and use Y, it does that. So, yeah, you can uh, control tails to do special stuff. Like, help you reach areas or rings that you won't be able to get to normally. And then if you want Sonic to drop again, just use Y. And there'll be other stuff you can do with that later. But... Or you can just land sometimes and that will make Sonic drop. I have... I'm not... 100% certain what that red ring does yet, and I'm sorry if there's anything I don't know. It's just I haven't managed to grab that, so I have no way of knowing what it is. In case you didn't see my last episode, yes, Sonic can drown, so it is a good idea when you get a chance to do that. So yes, Sonic CD. I uh, I don't like overly bright looking games. I thought basically the colours on Sonic CD uh, made me feel a little. Uh, they gave me a headache. So uh, I wasn't super keen on them, and uh, I wasn't keen on it in general. I thought the time. Well, I couldn't get fast enough to move into the past or the future, put it simply. So... Besides which, it was a bit of a waste of time travel, really. I mean, they kept it simple, but I don't really consider it to be a useful use of time travel if all you're going to do is, say, you go into the past, uh, you go into the future, and if you've done good things, the future is good, and if you've done bad things, the future is bad. That seemed overly simple to me, so I thought that was a bit of a waste. But never mind, I thought the bosses were unusually hard. I think 
uh, match with Sonics and an interesting McRyson, but overall I wasn't massively keen on it. In fact, as I say, it gave me a headache, so. I know a lot of uh, my Sonic Hedgehog 4 episodes have been short. I'm going to try to go for at least three acts this time to make it a bit longer. I'm going to let you enjoy the music for a bit. I like the way they just sort of waddle away the, uh, the creatures you've saved. They don't go as they don't go really quickly and then just sort of disappear like they did in episode one. I'm not really sure why people think episode one is substantially worse than episode two. I tend to think that uh, things are overly are over complicated uh, if you play one player by having tails with you. Yes, I uh, I always make that mistake. Well, I say always. I've only really ever played this once before, but I do tend to make that mistake. So I'm not going to be commenting on everything to when I review uh, the 3D Sonic games because usually I just, like with Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 for example, I usually just play it with my two uh, favourite characters and then don't play everything. Uh, this thing's quite tricky because you have to do that. Anyway, uh, I thought that the hub world on Sonic Adventure was boring and hard to navigate as well. But uh, I thought Sonic's gameplay was good. I will give it that. I thought Sonic's gameplay was uh, was really good. Um, I thought Tails gameplay was pretty good as well because it's basically the Sonic levels. So why wouldn't it be? However, I thought I didn't like how Sonic controlled in Sonic Adventure. I thought that he sort of, well, he moved too quickly. I often ended up overshooting where I wanted to get to. So uh, I would I would aim for somewhere and know that I needed to go to that I needed to stop, but I won't be able to because well I'd be able to but not quick enough because uh, of just how Sonic controlled, you know so. That wasn't good.
And I don't really have a lot else to say. I mean, I didn't think the storyline was great, but then again, I didn't get to see all of the storyline, because I didn't do most of the stages. Um, I only really did the Sonic and Tail stages. I really like that water coming out of there. I think that looks really cool, and I like the way they've changed this, so both Sonic and Tails appear on that thing where um, Sonic puts his, uh, his finger up, uh, his, uh, his thumb up, like that, to you. I like the way they've changed the image for that. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, I don't have a lot else to say about Sonic Adventure. I thought it was good, but overrated. Um, one final thing, the uh, voice acting is terrible. But I don't think there's any, uh, any disagreement about that. I think everyone feels like that. Okay, so for this bonus stage you need to collect a number of rings it tells you to collect. Uh, you can jump by using the normal controls, usually to try to get past those things. Um, they don't get rid of rings, but they make you slower, and you also have a certain amount of time to do things in. I really wish you didn't have to press the U control, but you do. So there we go. But as you can see there, we need to get a certain amount of rings to be able to uh, wi win that. And I didn't get enough rings. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, go back and do that level again off screen and uh, see if I can do better. But yeah, the U control makes you a bit faster, the jump control allows you to jump, and you have to get the amount of rings that it says, and uh, well that's it really. K allows you to go back when you're on a, a screen like this, if you've cut the controls for red button equals K. So I'm just going to go ahead and redo this level and I will see you when I get to the bonus level and this time I will not be talking during the bonus level because talking just uh, causes me to make mistakes. The more you get in, got in the last one, the less you need to get this time if you think about it. Okay, well, I didn't manage to get all the rings for that. I'm not sure if I showed off 
what I did there or not. Um, I may have done at least I got a couple of lies, but I think I'm just going to go forward onto the uh, third axe now and um, show that off and uh, I'll move on to uh, trying to get the gem from um, Act 2 uh, on my own in between recording this and recording the next episode because um, I've got I've got stuff I have to do with my day basically. I still don't like underwater levels. Well, I didn't tell you before that I don't like them, but I don't like them. I'll admit, the graphics here aren't good. I personally don't notice a substantial problem with the graphics in the first uh, Sonic Episode 4 game, but I'll admit, they are nice here. So. Um, how oh, I see. Aha! Here we go, this is called the rolling combo, apparently. So you just need to basically stand there and uh, press the new button and uh, the good thing happens. I like these sort of tilt um, puzzle platform things. They're quite cool. I mean, I'm not sure how this works in regard to gravity, but... Uh, actually quite, um, Crass Bandicoot-esque. So yeah, my opinion of, uh, Sonic Adventure 2, which I might not get a chance to finish talking about today, depending on how much I have to concentrate. But my opinion of it is that they improved the voice acting and um, I, I played the treasure hunting levels on that and I thought they were right but quite slow. I played as uh, Tails on that um, doing the sort of mech uh, thing that he does, and I thought that was okay, but quite slow. In general, not as good as the Sonic levels. Either of those things were, were less impressive than the Sonic levels, partly because they were just uh, quite sort of slow and a bit boring, in my opinion. But they weren't that bad. And, uh, Again, the Sonic levels and the Shadow levels were the best thing about it, and uh, I was less annoyed about the way Sonic controlled, so that was good. I think um, I think the the camera angles could get a little awkward. Um, the cameras didn't always go 
where I needed them to go, and because of that, there was a bit in a sort of foresty area, foresty level, where I kept on um, falling off a really big tree because of that. I suppose the workman always blames his tools, and I could say that it was my fault. And maybe it partially was, but I also found that the camera angle didn't help with that, and I think camera angles were a bit of a problem with uh, the first Sonic Adventure games as well. I don't know why Dr. Robotnik could warn you that that's about to happen, that you could fall off, never mind. Some nice platforming here. I don't know how... I had some issues with the plot. Like, I don't know how anyone could possibly mistake a blue hedgehog for a black hedgehog. Or, I suppose it's the other way around. But, uh, I didn't know how anyone could really make that mistake. Uh, my hope was that there was going to be a giant wing there, but never mind, I didn't get enough to uh, get a giant wing anyway. Get enough rings. But I will try to do the special stays off screen. You've already sort of seen what happens. Basically, if you get, if you uh, win and you get the jam, if I don't have time, the curse emerald, if I don't have time to show that off. It basically shows Sonic and Tails collecting the gem uh, curse emerald, so I might be able to show that off, or I might not, I don't know. But I intend to get every curse emerald that I can. I probably won't be able to get all of the curse emeralds, but I will try to get as many as I can, and I'm hoping that I can get at least two, because I think I'm good enough to get at least two, if I have several tries. So, that's it for this episode. I will see you next time.